Thanks for joining me for part two of this Cameo Pro series. Now, if you missed part one, check out the links in the description below or check out the playlist on YouTube. And I have a Cameo Pro playlist there. So we are going to get started with the number two thing that we see with issues with the Cameo Pro. Okay, so the number two issue that we see with any machine um, but with your Cameo Pro as well, is the blade installation one. So this is kind of a two part. First thing is the blade installation. And the second thing is the blade housing reset. Okay, so first I'm gonna cover the installation of the blade. So I'm just gonna grab my Cameo 4 Auto Blade. And I really um, hate the fact that there are so many Cameo 4 Auto Blades that are in the trash. And a lot of users will be very quick to tell you they hate the Auto Blade or that they need to toss it. Most times, all you need to do is reset your machine and that can solve your problem. As we go along, I'll show some close-up photos here. So the first thing that you're going to do on your machine is in the Tool 1 housing, the one with the number one on it. You pull out the front on it, that is your locking tab. You pull that out, you're going to slide the blade in and when you slide the blade in, you want to lift up on the front of that locking tab as you do it. And push that blade all the way in the machine, all the way down. There should be no gap between the lip of the blade and the front of the, and the blade housing. After you have it fully seated, completely in there with no gap, and it doesn't take a lot of force, but you need to make sure that it's all the way in. You're going to push the locking tab in. And there is a little blue dot in the front of your locking tab. It means absolutely nothing. What it actually means is that the locking tab is pushed in. That's it. You can pull your blade out, push your locking tab in, and the little dot will be blue. Does not mean your blade is installed properly because there isn't a blade in there. The little blue thing just means that the locking tab is pushed in. It does not mean that your blade is installed properly. So you pull the locking tab out, push the blade all the way down, and then push the locking tab back in. Now, the second thing of this part number two is a blade housing reset. And the reason to do a blade housing reset is because this auto blade needs to hit these adjustment holes and they're on the left side of your machine. Here's a close up. It has to hit these adjustment holes exactly on target. So if your housing is out of alignment for any reason, there are several reasons that your housing can be out of alignment. One, it can be out of alignment coming out of the box because it was set by the manufacturer, it was taped to the side of the machine, when you unpack it, you move the housing out to install the blade. There are multiple reasons out of the box that this housing can be out of alignment. It's a great idea to just start with a blade housing reset to give you the best results. The other reasons that a housing can become out of alignment is your blade went off of your material, which can be caused by either the blade not installed properly, the material wasn't set up right, or the housing is out of alignment. So if your blade has gone off of your material or your cutting mat, if the cut settings are too deep, that can be caused by either settings that are set in the software or your, it's not hitting your adjustment holes properly and the blade's set too deeply. So there are lots of reasons. Like I said, in the beginning, you have to start at the step one because there can be many reasons that something happened, but it's usually a quick fix if you go back to the beginning. So. To do a blade housing reset, you're going to unplug your machine. You do not want power to your machine. You do not want to do this when your machine is powered on or you could damage your housing. Unplug your machine completely. You're going to take your housing very carefully. Do not press down on your tool one housing. You do not want the blade to drag. You're going to move the blade housing to the right and the left and you're going to completely do this three times and 
and then you are going to leave it on the right hand side now a couple things I'll mention here one if you're if you feel resistance stop do not force it look for something in your machine that is blocking the housing from moving it could be that you're pushing down on tool one because that tool housing moves two I recommend that you do this three times I'm gonna share a little secret here with you that I learned in troubleshooting I say to do this three times it's not necessarily that you need three is the magic number but I found when I was troubleshooting with users that, that they would do it once and then they would call it three times it doesn't add up but I recommend that you do it completely to each side carefully it's not something you do fast and then leave it on the right hand side and then I'm gonna show you I need to plug my machine in so plugging my power cord in And then when you turn your machine on, your blade housing will reset to the proper location. Since it's a 24 inch machine, it takes it longer to get to the other side. Okay, so now your machine should be at the proper location for the blade to start its cut and adjust and hit those holes properly. So here is another troubleshooting trick. If you're not getting consistent cuts, there are two things you can look for. One, the first thing that I always look for is if the red line inside the auto blade has adjusted to the proper number. If it did not, that means something is wrong the blade is not adjusting properly and there can be a, multiple reasons for that as well so you first start with your blade this is why I always 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 start with the blade and it is why if you follow me on social media when somebody has a cut issue the first thing I ask for is a photo of the blade with their cutting mat or their vinyl installed because I can see where that blade is yes everybody always thinks that it's because I'm looking to see if the blades installed properly while that's one thing it's not everything I look to see where that housing is now the only way you can tell if the housing is aligned properly is with a cutting mat or material loaded so this is why I always ask for the photo is because at a quick glance I can tell you about 10 different things about your machine um, but I can tell where that housing is and if it's aligned properly if it's out of alignment it's not hitting those adjustment holes and that's your first problem right there if the blade isn't adjusting properly you're not gonna get good cuts it doesn't mean that the auto blade is bad it means that it's not getting a chance to work properly because it's not hitting these little adjustment holes that are right over here in the left corner it has to hit those if you have it set to an auto blade that's the only thing this auto blade does is it automatically adjusts to the blade depth that you have chosen in the software so the software says that it's a blade depth of three it's gonna come over to these adjustment holes and it's going to first on the cameo 4 models it first does a hard tap and resets the blade to a zero then it moves over to the next hole and it taps down three times as it advances and those are soft taps and it advances the blade the little red line inside the blade advances to a blade depth of a three so that is how your auto blade works if your housing is out of alignment your auto blade doesn't have the chance it's going to be inconsistent one time it may adjust properly the next time when it comes over here it doesn't hit the adjustment holes correctly so it may not reset to zero it may just start the three taps at three and now it's at a six so that is how you can get inconsistent cuts even if your blades install properly 
because if it's not hitting those adjustment holes, then it can have issues. How did I learn this? I watch my machine. I watch it as it's working and I look for what is working properly or what, what, what is it that's not working properly? How does it work in the first place? I watch the machine and I watch people's photos come in as they have cut issues. I look for what isn't the same. That is how I've learned all of these troubleshooting tips and I have troubleshot with thousands and thousands of Silhouette users over the last couple years. I've been teaching Silhouette for almost six years now as of the recording of this video and we troubleshoot all day long on Facebook, things like that. The fastest way to get your issues resolved is to provide a photo, a very specific photo in fact, and I have the wording down in how I ask for that because you showing me your blade in your hand does not help me to know how your machine looks. So this is one of the things, and it's number two because the first one is the one we see the most often with this Cameo Pro. Everybody thinks that they can just get it and set it up on a little tiny desk and it, it will work. Um, so this is the second part. First your blade installation, then the housing reset. Now if nothing else is working, then I'd recommend trying the housing reset after you've checked your blade installation. Watch your blade as it works. So if you've done the blade housing reset, your blade is installed properly, and it's still not cutting, how much have you cut with that blade? Is it possible that it needs to be cleaned out? And I'll put links in the description on how to do that. Trying to do a quick video for YouTube um, doesn't always work out because like I said, there are so many factors that could be the possibility. So I am going to give you a brief example of how I can tell the housing is out of alignment. I've watched the machine, I have studied the machine, and I know its behavior. So, I hit the wrong button. That's the load button. It's gonna automatically pretend like it's loading because I hit the wrong button. See, and it didn't load because I don't have it set up right. So, there's a little tip for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my roller bar lock lever down. This lifts the right side of the roller bar, and now I can slide my right roller over. And we'll cover this here in just a second, but I'm gonna just use this 12 inch mat as an example. Once I have it locked in the proper position, then I can load my cutting mat. So this is how I can tell housing alignment, and it takes practice. Again, I watched my machine, I learned how it works. So I'm gonna hold, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use auto load. So I'm gonna press that button again. I'm going to push my mat, place my mat up to my rollers and let it pull it in. So when your machine loads, if you watch it, that housing will adjust and move just a little bit. The way I can tell a blade housing is aligned or not is the position of your tool one housing hits a certain location, and in this case, there is a little dot on the front of the roller bar. This dot indicates where the left roller is. Now your left roller is, or your rollers, any of your rollers on, there's two rollers, left and right. They are only about a quarter inch, maybe even less, in width. So we'll do a close up here in just a little bit of that. But the tool one housing lines up directly behind that dot every single time if the housing is aligned properly. Watch as your machine sets the auto blade. Does it move to the correct number that you have set in the software? Did it adjust properly? Those are your first clues on if it's something to do with the blade itself and the housing alignment. Now, housing alignment can be also have different issues. Not only will it cut inconsistently, but it won't cut in the proper location on your cutting mat or on your material that you're cutting. Um, so you wanna, you just need to start at the beginning 
and go through everything. Is your page set up properly? Is your material size set up properly? Where are your cut borders showing? If your machine is cutting an inch to the right of where it should be, your housing might be out of alignment. 